Smart Online Business, How to Fail with Internet Marketing Wouldn't it be great if you could just throw up a website and instantly start making money? The truth is, some people think just that. They believe that by throwing money into a website and registering their website with the search engines, they'll have done a good job with their internet marketing. However, this is how businesses actually fail with internet marketing. Keep reading so you can learn mistakes to avoid with your internet marketing. 1. Trust internet marketing coaches who won't actually talk with you through email, by telephone or Skype or some other flexible way and you can be making a huge mistake for your business. Why? Because running a business requires talking with your coach. If you don't gel with your coach, that would feel very frustrating for you, wouldn't it? Then, you might convince yourself to completely give up on the idea of running a successful online business. That would be a costly mistake, because there are thousands of credible, reliable internet coaches available. And people actually are making money online. So, before you actually get a membership for an internet marketing coaching program, talk with the coach. See how responsive he or she is. Ask for some testimonials of past customers. These would all be smart things to do as you are checking out your coach's reputation and services. Trusting that everything will turn out when you haven't even gotten through during your research efforts for a coach is one way you fail with internet marketing. Point two. Buy packaged internet marketing programs without an accompanying live coach program and that can be a mistake as I've already covered in number one above. Life is dynamic. You get unique situations. For this reason, not having a live coach walk you through the intricacies of your online business can wind up costing you thousands of dollars in mistakes. So though packaged internet marketing programs might contain some very helping information, the best way to get the success you desire in your online business is by hiring a live coach. Point 3. Pretending an impatient coach is simply an artistic genius most likely will cause you to feel frustrated and regret hiring that coach. On your search for a coach, talk with more than one coach to find a good fit. This will avoid costly mistakes, hurt feelings, and the idea that you can't possibly work with anyone. It is okay for you also to start out with one coach and if you discover you are incompatible, find a different coach. Make things work for you so your success is realized.